what makes a good tennis player. One, they have to be fit. They have to be active. Uh, so one of the key tests we uh, recommended was like a two kilometer time trial. And, you know, it's not everyone likes running. Uh, some people are born to run, but at least two kilometers is something that you can try to achieve or you, you've got that baseline then. Yeah. So two, two kilometer time trial. The other uh, test that uh, I've uh, created or looked at is seeing how well an athlete runs from baseline to the net, uh, then diagonally uh, to the other net or the other side of the net, and then back, to, back along the baseline and come back. And, uh, you know, repeat that uh, six times and uh, do that in, uh, you know, you have 30 seconds to uh, do that and repeat that uh, within that 30-minute uh, cycle. Uh, sorry, 30-second cycle. And once again, it shows things like um, a certain level of fitness, uh, change in direction, and it gives an idea for young athletes that, well, you know, this is sort of what I'm doing. I, I, I am doing this with a certain amount of time. I've got more time. Uh, or if they're doing it well, they've got more time as a break, perhaps, and as they continue to improve. The other tests were simple things like push-ups uh, and uh, uh, crunches uh, I've put down there. Uh, push-ups, I've also created it in a way that they can do single arm push-ups, but that's against a wall. Because, you know, you're still trying to, most of the tests, unfortunately, if you look at things like push-ups, they're, you, you know, bilateral movements or symmetrical movements. But tennis in itself is so asymmetrical. It's so one-sided. So you, you need to get the body working uh, that way and give, having an understanding of it. 